Welcome to another CorelDRAW tutorial. I'm Sean with JDS Industries. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom color palette from a gradient. So the first thing you want to do is create a new document and create a box uh, using your uh, rectangle tool. And it doesn't have to be super large, but you know, five by two inch rectangle is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to create a gradient in here and create a custom palette from that gradient. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my paint can, select Fountain Fill, and in this case we're going to use the RGB palette. I'm going to select the very first red, and we're going to go to, uh, let's say a deep purple. Click OK. Now I want to get rid of the black outline. I don't need that. So I'm going to right click in the X up on top of the palette. So we just have the red going to purple. Now the next part of this is important. You need to change this to a bitmap. So go to bitmap, click on convert to bitmap, and because we're working with the RGB colors, we want uh, this to say RGB right here. I would keep the resolution at 2, maybe 300 dpi. Click OK. Now we've, esen we've essentially turned this vector art into a raster art. Now once it has been changed, converted, I want to create a palette from this bitmap. So go to Window, Color Palettes, Create Palette from Selection. And we're going to call this red to purple. And you can see I have one in here already. We'll call this Test 2. Click Save. This is going to go into My Palettes, and I'll show you where that's at in just a moment. So click Save. It's going to ask you how many colors you want to create from this. The maximum you can create is 256 colors. That should be plenty. Click OK. And it's going to go into your workspace. You can, if you want to, you can pull it out and see just how many colors this is going to create. So that's 256 colors. I'm going to put it back into my workspace. Now, let's make a printable file from this palette. Go to Tools, Macros, Run Macro, select Global Macros, and you should, should see the Corel Create Color Swatch. Click Run, and we're going we're gonna to find this file. It's going to be in your System folder into My Documents, My Palettes. Now down here you want to change this to All Files. Then we'll scroll down to that palette that we just created. We call this Red to Purple. Click Open. And I'm going to keep the spacing on 5. Click OK. Now it's going to render that into a Corel Draw file. So now I have four pages of color ranging from red to purple. And when you sublimate these, when you print and sublimate these, you'll see that it does have the RGB values listed on here. So that way you can start to create your own library of color. And sublimation, as you may or may not know, is uh, the way to know what these colors look like for sure is to sublimate them ahead of time. So this is a good way to start creating a library for yourself. So from purple to red, this should give you a good broad range of some colors to start with. You want to make sure that you sublimate these colors on the product that you are working with. This has been Sean with JDS Industries. Please contact us at 800-843-8853 if you have any questions. You can also email us at sublimation at jdsindustries.com.